Hello, Pasangla. A very, very good afternoon to all of you who have joined the live. This is your master teacher Niveta making bio learning very, very simplified just for all of you guys. So, a very, very good afternoon. Yalala live a join panir king lower. Hi, Sulunga chat section. La inik nama panna for a topic. Rumbo rumbo mukyo. We are going to deal with genetic problems. So, na last week promise panir na kandipa genetic problems kene tanya or session for rene. Every year, at least one or two questions will come from this genetic problems. Ma'am, it is a very, very, very easy concept if you understand all the principles of inheritance. Pasangla. So, in this session, kula pora munadi. hi, hi, a very good afternoon. In this session, kula pora munadi. I have a very, very exciting news for all of you. Naraya We have exclusive Republic Day deals on all Vedantu offline courses. So, we have a mega offer of 26% on all our flagship courses in our offline centers in Tamil Nadu, Chennai, Tiruchi, Coimbatore and Madurai. Am I audible? Can someone please confirm me if I am audible? Okay. So, that's very, very exciting to know. Okay. So, you all know in the world, Madurai is a grand launch. So, who all know our offline workshop attend? You all know how to get additional 10% discount. Thank you. Thank you. You for confirming. So totally, you will get 26 plus 10. 36% discount on all our offline courses. Okay. So don't forget to register and we have very, very limited number of seats. Okay. Hurry up. The admissions are already on full swing. Okay. So in this session, we will talk something very, very important numerical based question. Numerical based na Naria Max use panorama ma'am. Kandipa Tevela Pasangla. It's very simple, very easy to understand. So or a moon topic la the principle of inheritance la moon topic la nandu kepanga pasangla onnu vandu mendel's cross inna nandu blood group inna nandu genetic disorder inna nandu pedigree analysis okay so we are going to cover the numericals from all the four headings okay in today's session yes so can i get a victory sign so we can continue idhila modala na session kula poradhuk munadi there are some important things you guys need to know okay so the number of different gametes one second or a uh, dihybrid cross circle, polyhybrid cross circle. What is the number of gametes that they can produce? It is 2 to the power n. Okay. And what is the number of phenotypes they can produce? That is also 2 to the power n. And what is the number of genotypes that they can produce? It is 3 to the power n. In the formula, or rumba easy and a shortcut formula, can anyone tell me what does n year stand for? N na enna pasangla. So n is the number of heterozygotes. Okay. So what is n? N is the number of heterozygotes that are present. Okay. So formula and pata idu onna da. Two to the power n. Two to the. 2017 it is better. Unknown 2017 better. 2017 to 2023 you can target on. Okay. Yes. So here n is the number of heterozygotes pasangla. So phenotypes na in it is observable character. Okay. Genotypes are the alleles which are responsible for that particular phenotype. Okay. So shall we get into the numericals with all this knowledge? Yes. So shall we start the first problem? The first problem is itself based on the previous formula. Okay, rumbo rumbo easy. Determine the number of possible phenotypes, gametes and genotypes in a cross between. So, this is a polyhybrid cross. So, what is a polyhybrid cross? A cross in which organisms differ in more than one pair of contrasting characters. Okay, or you can also tell this is an F2 hybrid. Okay, so inna pandranga pasangla. How do you calculate? Rumbo easy. 2 to the power n. 2 to the power n, 3 to the power n. So, what is 2 to the power n here? It is the number of phenotypes and gametes. And what is 3 to the power n? It is the number of genotypes. 
ஓகே இப்போ ஹோல் பாயிண்ட் என்ன தெரியுமா பசங்களா யூ நீட் டு கால்குலேட் என் What is N? N is the number of heterozygotes. Okay. So, how many heterozygotes are there? 1, 2, 3. Right? Similarly, here also I have 1, 2 and 3. Right? So, how do you calculate? Very easy. 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 3. Okay. So, what is 2 to the power 3? 2 into 2 into 2 and this will be 3 into 3 into 3. So, 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. Okay, 3 threes are 9, 9 threes are 24. So, what is the number of possible phenotypes, Pasangla? 8. Number of possible gametes, it's your organ 8. Number of genotypes, it is 27. Okay, Purujada Pasangla, did everyone understand how to do this? Any doubts here? Can we continue? So, based on this very simple formula, you can get a number of questions, rumbo easy, n na n na nabu vachukonga, n is the number of heterozygotes, okay. So, in the oru problem matra na na help anva, other problem you guys should try to solve. Shall we go to the next question? Yes. This is very easy, Mendel's cross problem. A tobacco plant heterozygous for a character is self-pollinated and 1200 seeds are subsequently germinated. How many seedlings would have the parental genotype? Okay. So, how do you solve this? This is basically based on mono-hybrid cross -pasangla. Okay. So, in the case, for a character, one character, and the end plant may differ. Say, for example, let's take a tall and dwarf. Okay. So, it is capital T, capital T, capital T, small t. Heterozygous in Solir Kanga. Hi, Janice. Hi. Both the parents are heterozygous. Okay. So, what they have asked, how many seedlings would have the parental genotype? Okay. So, I think all of you know how to put the Punnett square, right? Capital T, capital T, capital T, small t, capital T, capital T. So, what is the ratio, Pasangra? What is the genotypic ratio here? 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, what is the question? What percentage would have the parental genotype? Parental genotype in a capital T, small t. So, what percentage would have the parental genotype here? What percentage of these offsprings have parental genotypes? Parental genotype, na idu. Is it like a percent? Very simple question. In the capital T, small t, in the offsprings, la, yobla percent ilke. How much percentage it is? I am asking you in percentage way. It is 50 percent. Correct? Inga or capital T, small t, inga or capital T, small t, amba the percent ilke. Okay. Now, what is the question? Out of 1200 uh, progeny or offsprings, how many will have parental genotype? Yes, absolutely correct. Yovlo organisms kundu parental genotypes irkan keter kanga. So, rumbo easy. It is 1200 divided by 2. Why 2? Because it is 50%. Okay. So, 2 ones are 600. Okay. So, what is the final answer, Pasangla? It is 600. Okay. It seems to be very confusing, but it is very, very easy. So, in the Kanga, the parent plant is heterozygous, okay, and what progeny, what percentage of the progeny will have the parental genotype in Keter Kanga? This is a question. Parental phenotype in Nirnavo, phenotype in Nirnavo, parental, all the, uh, like they are tall. So, it will become 75% then. Purunjada Pasangla, is this problem clear? Any doubts in this problem? Anyone? If you have understood, please do give me a thumbs up sign in the chat section. So, answer in either 600. Okay, any doubts? Clear. Okay. So, shall we move on to the next problem? Yes. In a monohybrid cross, in a monohybrid cross between two heterozygous individuals, percentage of pure homozygous individual obtained in F1 generation. Your percentage of F1 generation. Right? Pure homozygous plants. This is also a continuation of the previous question. Okay. So, everything will be one or two steps. Okay. So, here also we will take the same thing to avoid confusion. Okay. So, capital T, small t. Capital T, small t. So, it will be capital T, capital T, 
okay so what are they asking in the kekranga pasangla what percentage of pure homozygous individual are obtained in the f1 generation so idula vande evlo pure homozygous individual irupanga neenga paathe solalam so this is pure homozygous this is pure homozygous so what is the percentage very simple to answer naal la rendu so what will be the percentage naal la naal la rendu innor vaati repeat pandra so it is 2 by 4 so what is 2 by 4 two ones are two twos are that is half right so it is 50 percentage they didn't ask homozygous tall homozygous uh, dwarf they have just asked pure homozygous individual okay so here is one pure homozygous individual and here is one more pure so homozygous individual so naal progeny la 50% progeny will be pure homozygous is it clear now so what is the answer it is 50% purinjada pasangala eppadi 50% vanduchu nu purinjada puriyilaya very simple okay see this kind of question tend to confuse you a lot paakradhukku romba simple ah irukum okay mono hybrid cross da nanu inga neenga pure homozygous nu nonne you would have thought it is only capital t capital t and you will write it as 25% it's not wrong okay listen to the question carefully there was pure homozygous individual so it can be capital t capital t or it can be small t small t so the right answer is 50% pasangla if this numerical is also clear can i get a victory sign in the chat section so we can continue further yes yeah blood groups ellarku romba pidichathu kandipa pasangla one blood group mono hybrid cross illa in the inheritance pattern genetic disorders idu moonla nindu or question kandipa kekkala avanga exam la okay fine a child has blood group o okay if father has blood group a and mother has blood group b work out the genotypes of the parents so enna solirukanga na or child irukku or kolanda irukku okay and the kolanda oda blood group vandu o so can anyone tell me what is the genotype if the blood group is o okay and if the father is a okay mother B. So, in the question, Ketrikanga, they have asked you to find out the genotypes of the father, father and the mother of the parents. Okay. So, modala, in a kasolunga, what will be the genotype of a child with blood group O? So, genotype na elarko terio, the alleles which are responsible. Phenotype is the character. I want answer. So, genotype na small i, small i. Correct. small i small i is the genotype for o blood group there is only one single genotype okay now let's go back to blood group a and blood group b so blood group a and b la rendu possible genotypes irukalam pasangala one is homozygous a another one is heterozygous a very good janus okay and other one in blood group b it could be homozygous and heterozygous inga da vechirukanga check e okay now they are asking you whether the parents are homozygous or are they heterozygous come on pasangala tell the answer inga o blood group vandirukke okay when will a o blood group come when both the parents are heterozygous remember that very very carefully okay so this father is also heterozygous a and the mother is also heterozygous b appa mattram da i can have a o blood group child okay so imagine if both the parents are homozygous a and b yes very good they must be heterozygous okay imagine if both the parents are homozygous what will happen there will be no o blood group okay so the answer is iai and ibi so the genotype of the parents is iai and ibi pasangala purinjada did everyone understood this is very easy to understand just few steps you need to learn okay yes can we continue pasangla so this is question number 3 for all of you guys if you guys have any doubt here please do let me know okay idla innor or chinna idu kudukalam see this is iai and this is ibi so what are the possible genotypes idu kuda kekalam if the parents are heterozygous a and b what are the possible genotypes சொல்லுங்க பசங்களா நாலு விதமான பிளட் குரூப் இருக்கும் 
okay if the parents are heterozygous for a and b all the four different blood groups are possible okay and there is 25% probability that the child can be o blood group there is 25% probability that the child can be b blood group there is 25% probability that the child can be a and there is 25% probability that the child can be ab okay not just in neat pasangla even in your board exams especially in your cbse board exams definitely they can ask you questions from all this okay yes 25% very good very good so let's move into the next question okay the genotypes of a husband and wife are ia ib and ia i among the blood types of their children how many different genotypes and phenotypes are possible so it is just a simple cross number solano ethana genotype varudhu ethana phenotype varudhu number solano so by the time i do it can anyone do it and put it in the chat section let me see so what you need to do you need to cross okay i a i so it is i a i a okay i a i i a i b and i b i right so this is the cross okay now let's try to understand how many phenotypes are possible ethana phenotype ethana genotypes that is what they have asked that's the whole question here okay ha huh. phenotypes ethana pasangla what are the phenotypes here can anyone tell me what are the number of phenotypes here so this is a blood group is one phenotype a blood group okay and then you have b blood group is one phenotype and ab blood group is one more phenotype yes very good it is three phenotypes moon phenotypes irukke ethana genotypes how many genotypes obviously it is four okay purinjada pasangla how did you get three phenotypes and four genotypes any doubts here any doubts here so we can continue further naal moon phenotype naal genotype don't get confused naal genotype eppadi solra one rendu moon naal avladu yes yes okay one second yes yes shall we continue okay now idu mudichana ha father of a child is color blind and mother is carrier okay for color blindness the probability of the child being color blind idu indha mari question la da nariya pay you guys face it difficult right so the only way only hint modala parents oda genotypes eludirenga ninga parents oda genotypes eludi mudichitale the problem is over okay so enna solranga na father of a child is color blind can anyone tell me what kind of inheritance is color blindness color blindness eppadi patta inheritance it is x linked recessive inheritance correct ah padichirpo color blindness and hemophilia and the information ella id kandipa theva okay so what are they telling the father is color blind so if the father is color blind this will be the genotype of the father and the mother is a carrier amma vand carrier so carrier ku eppadi irko she will have only the color blind gene on what one second yeah sorry she will have the color blind gene okay only in one of her x chromosome okay the probability of the child being color blind yes do or uh, think again janus do it again let me see do this square x c x so x c x c x c x x c y x y what is the probability ipo ipo yosichu solunga indha indha idha paatha solunga punnet square ah paatha solunga what is the probability that the child avanga vandu male female nalla solla kedaiyadhu very good it is 50% you can see here this she is color blind she is and he is color blind okay and who is she she is a carrier female okay and this is a normal male okay these two are color blind so what is the answer pasangla the answer is 50% of the progeny is color blind okay clear is this clear it's not so difficult the entire game here lies 
when you decode the genotypes of the parents. This is the PYQ. Okay, so the genotypes of the parents and you clear it's done. The, no, the problem is over. And you need to be very patient. In the Punnet Square, it will not even take a minute. It will take less than a minute. Okay, so please do put the Punnet Square. Try to understand and put the right option. Okay, don't get confused there. Yes, we'll go to the next question. In a cross between male and female, both heterozygous. For sickle cell anemia, the heterozygous for what kind of condition? Sickle cell anemia. What percentage of the progeny will be diseased? Modala Pasangla, can anyone tell me what kind of uh, in inheritance does your sickle cell anemia follow? Ad autosomala, X linked, recessiva, dominant. Can anyone tell me what kind of inheritance pattern does your sickle cell anemia follow? It follows. Autosomal recessive inheritance. Yes, very good. Very good, Janice. It's an autosomal recessive inheritance. Abdina and I, only if the both the parents are carriers, only then the child will be affected. So in a sorangana, both the male and female are heterozygous. Heterozygous means what? They are carriers. Both of them are carriers for sickle cell anemia. Okay, so how will we write it? This is your HB normal S, capital S. Okay, and this is HB small. Okay, the confusion when the HB, HB, S, N, L, D, L, Okay, or we'll simply put it as capital S, small S, capital S, small S. Okay, now what is the question? What percentage of the progeny will be deceased? I want the answers, Prasangla. I have written the genotypes of the parents. So, you know, the, the sex doesn't matter. Whether it's a male or a female doesn't matter because it is autosomal. Okay. So, tell me the answer, Prasangla. So, what percentage of it is deceased? Answer, please. Percentage like it is 25 percent. Okay, 25 percent of the progeny are deceased. Okay, Umba easy on a question. When it will be easy when you know what is heterozygous. What is heterozygous? They are carriers. So, in the in the chinachina terms on the Ungal Nabu Ochino and Mukyama Ungal sickle cell anemia or autosomal recessive disease in Serino. Appala in the numerical assault panamidio. Okay, Pasangla, is it clear? Can I get a victory sign? Are you all learning with me? Is this numericals useful for you? Okay, and don't forget to put this a minute, less than a minute Punit square. Okay, yes. So, we shall continue now. Again, we have come up with blood group. Okay, a child with blood group O has a father with blood group A. I think this question is again repeated. Okay, so we will just uh, pass on. Okay, in Python sativa, the pod color may be green okay or yellow what percentage of the offspring with green pro, uh, pod color trait would be obtained in a cross of capital g small g into capital g small g again this is a very very easy mono hybrid cross problem so can anyone tell the answer for this can anyone tell the answer for this so it is capital g small g Okay, capital G, small g, umbo, umbo, easy, capital G, small g, capital G, small g, small g, small g. They have asked you, they have not asked you about phenotype, genotype, adalan kekla. How many offsprings will have green pod color? Okay, or what percentage will have this green pod color is the question. Yes, you can see, one, two, three. So, how many offsprings? See, green is dominant. So, capital G. Yellow is recessive. So, what is the answer? Think and answer, Pasanga. It is 75%. 3 is to 1. Phenotypic ratio. Right? So, 3 is to 1 means what? It is 75%. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, is a yellow ketangana? It is 25%. It's all playing with numbers. It's a question of probability. Okay, percentage na idel dringa. Probability na elna el dringa. 0.75. Okay, in here el dringa. 0.25. Always remember pasangla. Probability will always be between 0 to 1. Ninga max la padchirpinga. 
okay it will never be less than 0 or it will never be greater than 1 that also you guys would have studied okay so what is the answer here 75 percent 3 is to 1 ratio mona hybrid cross at direct okay shall we move on to the next question yes so this is very interesting in polydactyl what is polydactyl having extra fingers have you guys seen anyone having extra finger are the finger have you one in incomplete dominance it is mixed yes absolutely correct yes Haan, polydactyl have you seen people with extra fingers extra toes i have seen okay so in the mostly in the arko, they will have an extra finger and that is a dominant condition okay that happens due to a dominant allele capital p over the recessive allele small p okay in a solirkana if a six fingered woman and a five fingered man have a five fingered child the genotype of the parents and the child would be enna ma'am you blow confusing arke. you don't have to get confused so enna solirkana there is a six fingered women okay so the six fingered women what a genotype enna varko? can anyone tell me what would be the genotype of the six fingered women and they have given it as p capital p dominant ali so she can be homozygous dominant or she can be heterozygous dominant. Yes or no? This is one thing. And what would be the genotype of five finger? Five finger ka genotype and I already told you. It is a recessive condition. So it will be small p, small p. Okay. Uh, what would be the genotype of the parents and the child? It is not six fingered. It is five fingered. Okay, so what will be the genotype of the child if it is five fingered? Anyone? Very simple. It is, yeah, it is small p, small p. Okay, now keeping this in mind, okay, keeping this small p, small p in mind, we have to decide whether the mother was homozygous or heterozygous. So, yes, confuse agade. Yes, that's why I chose this question. Okay, polydactyl alirke and the polydactyl is a dominant condition. Okay, and a six fingered woman marries a five fingered man. Okay, and the child is five fingered. And five fingered non normal and kuda ninga chiklong will confuse achina. Okay, so if I a question and I I actually found out the genotype of the father and the genotype of the child. Now I have to decide whether the genotype of my mother is capital P, capital P or capital P, small p. So, what will be the genotype? See, think, okay, the child, if this person, if the mother was both capital P, capital P, absolutely the child would have had six fingers, okay. But the child is not having six fingers because she is heterozygous. Okay, what is she? She is heterozygous. Okay, I will put a cross and show. Okay, so capital P, small p. Okay, into small p, small p. So, this is a six-fingered woman and this is a five-fingered man. Okay, so how will the cross go? What do you see here, Pasangla? What do you see here? 50% of the progeny is not having six finger. They are not carrying that capital P allele. So, this mother is very sure to be heterozygous. Okay. So, what is the genotype of the parents? Let me just quickly recap. Mother, father. So, mother is capital P, small p. Father is small p, small p. Okay. And the child is again small p small p okay all your confusion should be clear here is this clear this kind of problems you can expect okay be it in your cbsc board or be it in your neat exam in the body problem kandipa kekla is this clear can we continue yes or no can i get a victory sign in the chat section so we can move further so in the polydoctal you know, a dominant allele okay yes yeah Next question. This is very easy. Okay. What would be the genotype of the parents 
if the offspring has the phenotypes in the ratio 1 is to 1. You see, parangha, 1 is to 1 ratio, yappo varo. Where do you see 1 is to 1 ratio in Mendel's cross? Can anyone tell me? It's a quick question. Mendel's cross, la, 1 is to 1 ratio, yappo varo. It can be part of the principles of inheritance and variation. Do you remember? Very good, very good. It is your test cross. Okay, good. Now, tell me what is a test cross? Test cross or a definition? So, let me answer. What is test cross? Anybody? It is a cross of two sets of offsprings. Heterozygous F1 and recessive parent. Okay. So you get it now. What would be the genotype? The genotype would be heterozygous. So it will be capital T small t into recessive small t small t. You will have the answer. Yes, very good. It's a cross between the hetero F1 and the dwarf or the recessive individual. So, what is the genotypes? It is capital T, small t into small t, small t. See, this question seems to have multiple understanding. So, one is to one ratio. Okay, it comes in monohybrid test cross. Then I have to go back and understand what is test cross. Test cross is a cross between F1 and the recessive individual. question answer So, what is the answer? Capital T small t into small t small t. Very, very easy. Okay, is this question clear? We have almost covered 10 questions in less than 30 minutes. Yes. Can we continue, Prasangla? Okay. Yes. This they have asked and it's quite important. Okay. I think 2022 line the question catering uh, anger. Maybe it can repeat. Okay. So let's try to understand. This comes from linkage and recombination. Yaka answer Tirinja Solala. No problem. Recombination. Okay. How to solve this? The path only a lot of bioprovanga in the man you blow Kurturkanga. It is very, very easy. Irkale, umba easy and a question. Okay. So, first, let's try to note down the given. So, the distance between J and M is 20%, and the distance between J and L is 35%. Okay. J and N is 70%. Okay. L and K is 15%. And M and L is 15%. How do you solve such problems? Yes. How do you solve such problems? Anybody? First, the, what is this distance? What is What do you understand by this recombination frequency or percentage recombination? It is nothing but this is going to denote F2 ma'am last question. Na, Purila, one second. What is the problem with last question? It is F1 with the recessive parent. Okay, F2 will be the next trial, right? I'll just clear your doubt. Okay. See, capital T Okay, so capital T, capital T into small t, small t, right? So this is my F1. This is my parent is. This is my F1. So, F1 is capital T small t. Okay. So, it is F1 with the recessive parent. Ipa Purunjada Janis. Is it clear now? Now, let's try to understand this question. Very important. Ketru Kanga Pasangla. So, in the Solrangana, the la recombination frequency in Solir Kanga, in the J, K, L, M, N, 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 they are all genes that are present on the chromosome. Okay, we need to tell the order in which all these genes are present. Okay, that's the whole question here. Okay, Ippo, Modala, in the first point, you need to find the highest recombination frequency. Highest, so they will form the two ends, they will form like this. So, this will be J, this will be N. Okay, so J and N kulla yovlo distance irukku? 70% distance irukku. This is the first thing. Okay, then other character in our day, J and L were there. Okay, so next in our day, J and L. So I will keep it as here. Okay, J and L. So it is around how many percent? 35 percent. This is L. 
okay then we are telling we'll go with uh, the next one j and m okay j and m j and m all of us under the 20 percent under the okay then you have j m this is done this is done this is done then you have l and k which is 50 percent Okay, L and K all are ka pasanga 15%. So, where do we put L and K and then M and L? So, this L, K, we'll put K here. Okay, we'll put K here. This is 15%. And M and L, this is 15%. Okay, so what is the order of the genes? You have J, then you have M, then you have L, K, and N. So, this is the order of the genes. Clear? You have to just write the longest one, then try to put it all. Purunjada Pasangla, how to do this? Yes, we will go to the next similar question. So, this was the question which was asked in your NEET 2022. Okay, and the question and the or practice question, but this was the question which was asked in your NEET exam. Okay, so let's take A and C. Yes. Let me tell, guys, please do tell the order. B and C is 15%. Okay, B and D is 9%. A and B is 20%. A and D is 29%. So, I have to first find out the longest distance. Longest distance A and D. So, they will form the end like this A and D. Okay, so A and D, Madila, all the distance are 29%. Okay, then I have A and B. So B, it will be somewhere here. So A and B is what? This is B. This is around 20%. Okay, and B and D is 9%. Okay, and then you have A and C. C will be somewhere here. That will be 5%. Okay, and then B and C, it will be around 15%. Okay, 15 plus 5 is 20, 15 plus 5 plus 9 will be 29, you get finally 29. So, what is the order here? A, C, B, D. Okay, practice. With practice, this will come. One just arranging, overlap, arrange, got it, Pasangla? Yes, that's it, it's done. A, C, B, D is the order of the gene. It is a null mark. So, Naraya students, up for NEET exam, 2022, I was somehow, I somehow guessed in the Mari question, because I do teach for CSIR also, CSIR in the Mari solve. So, I just taught them and all of them wrote this answer. That is a pudu pattern. Okay, yes. So, shall we continue if this is clear? Can I get a victory sign in the chat section? So, now we will move on to pedigree. I think almost this is clear. Now, we will move on to pedigree analysis. Okay. Yeah. Pedigree le ittana vidamana pedigree irukku pasangla autosomal dominant autosomal recessive sex link dominant sex link recessive okay very important questions come from pedigree okay so first let's start with this question study the given pedigree and choose the correct statement okay idha pedigree idha da statement in the naal statement la edu correct nu namala choose panna solirukanga okay the trait under the study is dominant both parents are homozygous the trait can be X-linked recessive disease like hemophilia. The trait depicted is autosomal recessive like cystic fibrosis. Okay. Selectrix irukku pasangla. Now already the session panamodhu soli kudutthu I will just quickly recap it to you guys. So first. Dominant na eppidhi kandu pidhi Okay. So dominant or pedigree kudutthu irukkaang. The pedigree dominant in eppidhi kandu pidhi pidhi na. The trait wouldn't have skipped any generation. Yella generation liu. At least or thangal kuh and the trait irukko. Okay. So trait doesn't skip generations. Okay. That is the only trick to find out dominant. Okay, if a dominant la render with or correct one and the autosomal in on the X linked or sex linked. Ma'am, autosomal dominant can be put on. If you have autosomal or recessive one can be put on, rumbo easy. Autosomal na male or female equal affect. 
okay so male and female both of them will be equally affected but when when it comes to x link dominant one of the one of the gender will be more affected okay so both affected equally both affected equally so when it comes to x linked pasangla it is a matter of chance so who is carrying that x chromosome ipa paarenga if it is x linked and if the father is having an x linked disease so it will move to the daughter okay if it is x linked and the mother is having x mother is having a uh, disease okay then it will move to both the children so it again depends okay so it depends on the sex is the whole intake okay purinjara pasangala how to find out dominant condition and how to find out whether it is autosomal or x linked okay same thing we will also do it for recessive condition okay yeah so recessive ah epdi kandupidipinga how do you guys find out recessive anybody recessive na pasangala the trait skip generation or or generation ne ad skip panniru okay there will be no condition trait skip generation okay and again in this recessive also you have dominant sorry not dominant autosomal and x linked again autosomal independent of sex okay it doesn't depend does not depend both are equally affected okay here the males are more affected okay the male are more affected if this is all clear we will continue pasangala so recessive condition eppadi kandupidikiradu dominant condition eppadi kandupidikiradu nu purinjaduna pol okay now you guys will tell me this answer idoda answer enna neenga da solluvinga ipo okay so definitely it is not dominant correct the trait under study is not dominant how am i telling it is not dominant because the parents do not have that trait okay then both parents are homozygous no if both parents are homozygous i wouldn't have seen a condition so this is also wrong okay now what i have to choose i have to choose between these two options okay that trait can be x linked recessive disease in hemophilia or it can be an autosomal recessive disease like cystic fibrosis so can anyone tell me what is the answer it is option 3 or option 4 pasangla it is not an x linked disease pasangla why because i see a female is affected here okay i see a female who is affected here so it is not an x linked disease okay instead it is an autosomal recessive condition okay yes very good it is option 4 you know all that criteria you apply that criteria and you get the answer option 4 is an answer very very good autosomal recessive condition example is cystic fibrosis yes yes very very good avula dhan pasangala yeah we'll move on to the next question let me see how many of you will tell this correctly the trait shown in the given pedigree chart is most likely autosomal recessive autosomal dominant sex linked recessive and sex linked dominant trait so kandipa pasangala it cannot be a dominant trait correct why it cannot be a dominant trait because the trait has skipped a generation in the generation and the trait ay kadaiyadu so it is definitely not a dominant trait so you delete these two option so learn the art of deleting the option so netu kuda or video upload panirundha how to avoid negative mark so how do you avoid negative mark when you are very very close to your right answer so i know these two are not the right answer now i am 50% very good 50% very very close to my right answer pasangala then you have an autosomal recessive sex linked recessive idu eppadi pasangala kandupidipinga solunga idu eppadi kandupidipinga here both the sexes are equally affected ama va illaya pasangala so is it an autosomal recessive trait or is it a sex linked recessive trait both the sexes are equally affected யோசிச்சு சொல்லுங்க both the sexes are equally affected so sex linked recessive na enna males are more affected okay vena nam or pedigree kuda potu paathiralam okay yes female is carrier yes female is a carrier very very good yes so inga da confusion varum yes 
here you get confusion. Now, you can choose what you can choose. Ma'am, male and female are equal to the effect. So, we will choose uh, autosomal recessive. It is not like that. The trait has been carried. So, you can see here, from the mother to his son through a carrier daughter. Here, the daughter is a carrier. Yes. Female is the carrier. Yes, it is option C. Yeah, ma'am, it is autosomal recessive trait. Illa. Because... Here you can see again here the female is a carrier. She is passing it to her son. Okay. That is why. Though here she is not affected. Here she is a carrier. And she is passing it to her son. We all the uh, sons get their X chromosome from their mother. Okay. Yes. Yes. The answer is option C. Sex linked recessive trait. So confuse aga dinga. Okay. So autosomal recessive trait or sex linked recessive trait ana. Idu vandu or autosomal kadayadu. It is sex linked recessive trait. Purujala pasangla. How did I get to it? Any doubts? So can you name an X linked recessive trait? So let's make it even more clear for those who are still finding it confused. Can you name an X linked recessive trait? Let's take color blindness. Okay. Color blindness at the class. So, uh, we will say this is this person and you will get the entire trait that is to be done. Yes, sickle cell anemia, is it sex linked? It is autosomal recessive. Okay, it is an autosomal recessive trait. Next question, okay, study the pedigree. Easy Okay, they have given the answer already in the question. If you guys would have gone through your NCRT. Myotonic dystrophy. Okay, what kind of condition is myotonic dystrophy? Let me know the answers, Pasangla. And this is a dominant trait. Every one of them is a dominant trait in Solra. Yella generation you there is a person who is affected. So generation one, generation two, generation three. There is no skipping of generation. So it is dominant. Okay. Yeah, this is the autosomal. It is an autosomal dominant trait. Why is it called autosomal dominant trait? That also we need to understand. Yes. Yes. Can I, can I, can you guys tell me? Yes. Gene is linked. Okay. Can you tell me why it is an autosomal dominant trait? Because both male and female are equally affected here. So, it is an autosomal dominant trait. So, the right answer for this is option 3. Okay. Illa generation and this is a pedigree that's given in your NCRT. If you want, you can open and check it out. Okay. So, myotonic dystrophy or muscular dystrophy is an example for an autosomal dominant trait. Both are affected. Yes, equally affected. And that's why, dominant trait Okay. Here, the mother is having the sun is getting. So, it doesn't matter about the X and Y chromosome. Here, what matters is your autosome. So, it is an autosomal dominant trait. Pasangla. Very, very, very important. Clear? Is this clear? Any doubts here? Anyone has any doubts here? Okay. So, coming to the last question. The following pedigree chart shows the inheritance of hemophilia in a family. So, hemophilia is a family. So, can anyone tell me what kind of inheritance is hemophilia, whether it's a dominant, whether it's a recessive, whether it's autosomal or whether it is X-linked. What kind of disease is your hemophilia? Autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, sex-linked dominant, sex-linked recessive. Rumba easy on a question. Very good. It is sex-linked recessive. Yes. So, it's very clear here. Now, what would be the possible genotype of the members 4 and 5? 4 and 5 in a possible genotype sirukon kekra. Okay. A blood test shows that member 14 has hemophilia gene. This member 14 has hemophilia gene. What would be the probability that her child will be hemophilic boy? Okay. Let's take one by one. Okay. Question 1 let's solve first. Okay. What would be the possible genotypes of 4 and 5? So, first let's take 5. Okay. What do you understand by this person 5? The person 5 is affected. Okay, is an affected male. So, what will be the genotype of an affected male? Pasangla? Affected male. I am talking about 5. So, 5 it is X, C, Y. Am I correct? The genotype of your affected male is X, C, Y. Okay, now let us go to 4. 4 is a female. That is very clear. Okay. And this, she is normal, right? She does not have color blindness because it is not shaded. But 
see pasangla she is transferring it to her son so she must be a carrier right though she is not hemophilic or color blind okay here you can take it as okay the hemophilic in the power since the question is hemophilia even color blindness is a sex linked disease so there is nothing wrong so she will be x c x very good very good doctor said very good janice very good she is a carrier mother okay so that ends the part a of the question okay the blood test shows that member 14 has hemophilia what would be the probability that her child will be a hemophilic boy okay so they are telling this member is hemophilic okay i'm more used to writing that so this is xh x she this member 14 is a carrier okay tell me the answer before i do it okay and she marries imagine she marries a normal man okay so what is the probability that her son will be hemophilic tell me the answers Pasanga. what is the probability that the son will be hemophilic you can see this and tell percentage la solala probability la solala eppadi venalum solala very good it is 50 percent probability okay 50 percent probability it seemed to be very difficult but when you know what is the disease how is it carried things become very very easy so in the problem you can solve it 25 percent because uh, they have clearly asked hemophilic boy okay boy when the 100 percent now the 50 percent will be affected Okay, Purunjala, how do 50% So, 50% is a probability. Okay. Now, this is a Punnet Square. This is another question. Okay, what is the probability of having normal male? Normal male. This is the confusion of confusion. Normal male, normal male is a probability. It's okay, it's okay, not a problem. You're all learning. Now, ah, normal male is a percentage. Solunga Janus, Solunga Crazy Dude. Yes, very good. 50%. Okay, then we let's talk about carrier female. What is the percentage of carrier female? Carrier female, yavlo percentage. The path is carrier female. It's again 50%. You can see here carrier female. Okay, normal female. Normal female is again 50%. Okay, 50%. All of them are questions. This question is not Marty Marty. Because they know they cannot ask anything other than that. Okay, you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that you can see that. Yes. Now, I have a last question. Can you tell the probability of unaffected individuals? If you have male and female, I have just told. Affected individuals. Can anyone tell me? Probability of unaffected individuals. Very good, very good. Yes. Purujala Pasangla. So now I didn't ask about uh, male or female. I asked individuals. Okay. So it is 50%. Okay. So solve as much problems as you can from this Pasangla because this genetics is a very very potent thing from which they can ask you questions. Okay. Yes. 75 percent to know Solala. I expected that answer because here this person she is a carrier but she is normal. Okay. I could have told 25 percent. Okay. I have told unaffected. Okay. I didn't tell unaffected and carriers. Okay. Yes. Yeah, carrier is not regarded as unaffected. No, it's not regarded. We call them as carrier female or carrier individuals. Okay. So, what percentage of progeny is carriers in Ketangana? 25 percentage. Okay. Purunjada Pasangla. Next, one last question. Any, what is the percentage of affected female? Affected female, all percentage. What is the percentage of affected females? This is the last part. Let me see. Affected females. 
affected. Very good. Excellent, Janus. Very good. Zero percent. Ma'am, zero could answer Larkumana. Kandi parko. Yes, it is zero percent. Okay. Clear? Is it all clear now? Okay. No one is affected. No women is affected. Okay. Ippo, or are they kuncho modify pani or question? Okay. So, X, let me take color blindness. Okay. X, C, X and x c y so here what do you see the mother is a carrier whereas the father is affected okay mother is a carrier whereas the father is affected okay so first ellar me the workout pannunga enak answer solunga quick answer solunga paakalam ethana per correct answer pandringa nu so what is the percentage of affected female Okay, now question LD, I will answer or no. Okay, then carrier female. Okay, then you have affected male. Then unaffected male. It's a pair is answer. Okay, if you have understood what I thought, you can answer this very, very clear. Okay. Yes. So let's put the punnet square. Punnet square for time. Our answer is only being right. So x c y. So it is x c x c x c y x c x x y. Yes. Affected female. Very good. Twenty five percent. Affected female. It's twenty five percent. Okay. Affected female is twenty five percent. Carrier female, it is again a 50% affected female. Affected female, it's 50%. How it will come 25%? Female, female it is. Okay. So, in female, you should calculate. So, female will be 100%. Adilana, it will be 50%. Carrier is 50%. Affected male is 50%. Unaffected male is again 50%. All is 50, 50, 50, 50. Yes. Super. All are 50 percent. Yes. Absolutely. You blow parching up or something. Okay. Yes. Then what percentage are affected? Affected individuals percentage in there. Affected individuals. Anybody? Affected individuals. Affected individuals. YOLO. 50 percent. Very good. Idatara vera one make a matang person. I'm very sure. I'm very, very sure. Idu padchara, you will be very confident to attend all the problems. Okay? Yes. Any other doubts? Anything else? Do you guys have any problems? Amari, that's problem and that please do post it in the comment section. Okay. So when I do this kind of revision, we can go and concentrate on that. Yes. It's quite interesting. You know, I like genetics, mall bio. And um, I like subjects like biotech, biotech application in biotechnology, okay. They are all the most favorite subjects, immunology, human health and disease. So, they are like very, very interesting topics, yes. Okay, so that's for today's session, Pasangla. So, any doubts you have in today's session? Konja quick kind of rapid fire, Kekata. Shall I ask you some questions? Shall I ask you some questions? Yes or no? Soma, where is Soma? Soma clonal, are you talking about? Soma clonal variation? Can you be a little more precise? Okay. So, I'll ask you a few questions related to disorders. Papa, Okay, it should be very, very quick, Pasangla. Okay. The first question, name an autosomal recessive disease. Autosomal recessive disease. Moon disease is in the textbook. Papa. Autosomal recessive diseases. In neural control, they said body means, yeah, soma means your body. Soma, somatic cells, we call it as your body cells. Okay, somatic cells are called body cells. Yes. Sickle cell anemia, good. Then, after sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, okay, good. Then, thalassemia, phenylketonuria, they are all your autosomal recessive conditions, okay? Yes, autosomal dominant, 
autosomal dominant can i get an autosomal dominant disease autosomal dominant yes dominant myotonic dystrophy okay myotonic dystrophy is an autosomal dominant disease idella ketirukanga pasangala in the previous year they give you four option and they ask you which is dominant which is recessive like that they can ask you then finally sex linked recessive condition sex linked recessive condition which is a sex linked recessive condition rendu rendu da irukku unga textbook la we'll stick on to ncrt okay hemophilia very good then then one more one more nariya vaati ange elidite irundha adha da color blindness hemophilia and color blindness are x linked every day keep seeing this definitely you will get four marks from this topic okay pasangala yes and one more thing then what is this klein felter syndrome turner syndrome adala eppadi patta diseases the klein felter syndrome turner syndrome ala adala eppadi patta disease they are also genetic disorders what do we call them as anybody klein felter turner down syndrome there is a specific name we call it with right what is that name we call it as chromosomal aberrations adha enna solrom chromosomal aberrations nu solrom okay yes so maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow we will do neural control and coordination ncrt line by line now i have decided to stick on to ncrt okay to somehow make uh, ncrt very very familiarized with all of you guys and how the questions come from that so maybe on monday or tomorrow we will have your neural control and coordination class pasangala yes chromosomal disorders nu solluvo illa chromosomal aberration nu kuda solluvo rendu me ore vishayam da okay so uh, fine if you guys want me to take any specific chapter please do let me know in the chat section we, uh, comment section we will do it okay i hope this session was useful to all those who were watching it okay definitely pasangala naal mark katti thookirala indha or session neenga first full ah paathu purinjikittingna it will it is going to be very 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 easy okay yes thank you do like share subscribe and comment comment panna matrum marandirave marandiradinga thank you so much do stay tuned